Hi, I'm Ben Russell-Smith, founder and managing director here at Laser Lamps. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about grill kits. So why would a customer choose to have a laser grill kit on their vehicle? Well, it is a really seamless integration on the front end of a modern vehicle that allows them to have auxiliary high beam lighting but with an integrated OE look. Our grill kits are mainly aimed at the light commercial vehicle market, including pickup trucks, and we've got a wide range of vehicles they're suitable for, and a few different types of light that we put into the grill kit. And generally, it depends on what we think uh, would look the best, suit the vehicle the best, and also we consider the e-reference number in the case of European grill kits. So we do have Linear 6 kits. So the Linear 6 is obviously a very slim and streamlined light. We've also got the RRR 750 kits, whether they have the elite version of the light, whether they have the standard with position light. And we have the RRR 850 grill kits and as well for some US vehicles, we have the R1000 grill kits. Finally, we can also make some grills which are using the ST4 light. So the ST4 is giving a large amount of light in front of the vehicle, whereas the RRRs are a bit longer range and the linear also a very wide beam pattern. Why are grill kits such a big uh, selling point? Well, they make the installation process very fast uh, and easy. So whereas historically, in order to mount auxiliary high beams, you would need to uh, potentially remove a grill, mount them to the metal brackets behind, and then the light might be shining through the grill. With the grill kit, you can leave the grill fitted to the vehicle, and then you can simply make the modifications necessary without removing the grill. So it takes installation of the grill kit about 30 minutes and then the wiring uh, can be a, an hour, hour and a half. So very fast installation time. So what is in the box when the customer would buy the grill kit? So the grill kit box uh, arrives like this. Uh, in this example, we've got the Mercedes Vito. Inside the grill mount box, we not only have the uh, black composite uh, parts, which would end up attached to the grill with the lights connected to them. We also have the cutting templates. So the beauty of the grill kit solution is that it gives the customer these templates that they can clip onto the grill and it directly positions where the customer should cut using a hacksaw blade. Once they've clipped it on, they can cut directly down the template, remove the central part of the grill. They can then mount the composite brackets to the lamps and they can then insert it to the grill. Also included in this box are the fasteners and we're using security Torx fasteners to secure the bracket to the grill. In the lamp box, uh, we not only have a pair of lamps, but we also have the wiring kit. So this is the correct kit to be used with that vehicle. Uh, so there's no doubt about what the customer should be doing from a wiring perspective. Generally speaking, most customers would uh, not use a separate switch when they're using a grill kit. They're generally connecting the relay trigger wire directly to the back of the high beam. So when the high beams of the vehicle are coming on, then it does activate the relay, it triggers the relay, and the auxiliary lights come on uh, at the same time. Uh, and the nice thing about that solution, uh, because our lights are e-marked, so they're road legal, so it means that you don't need to have a separate switch and pass wires through the bulkhead. So again, it simplifies that installation time. Of course, a lot of our customers are using, with the wiring kit, they're using a CAN reading solution. So please do take a look at our other videos uh, relating to Canny, where we have a really nice CAN reader activated with an app on the phone. And it allows a customer who's got a vehicle with CAN bus system, and not the uh, 12 volts at the high beam circuit, it allows them uh, to activate the lights. And because it's a waterproof, can reader, it can go in the engine bay along with the wiring kit 
And again, you're not needing to pass any wires through the bulkhead of the vehicle. So again, it's making that installation time really fast and really simple. So in terms of what goes into the development of the grill kits uh, here at Laser HQ, well, it is a complex process to design each grill kit. We're doing a lot of development work and included some test work on every grill that we uh, develop to make sure that the grill is robust enough and able to accommodate a pair of lights mounted into it. And we're doing some additional driving validation to make sure that we don't have a vibration of the beam uh, or any other undesirable aspect. We are uh, manufacturing around 15,000 grill kits uh, every year and that is growing all the time. We have really created this market for fitting auxiliary high beams onto vehicles where you wouldn't normally otherwise be able to fit auxiliary high beams in a fast and effective way. We've been doing it for about eight years. So our first grill kit launched in 2016. Our solution is yeah, very well validated and there should be a lot of confidence among both dealers and customers alike uh, about this method of attaching these auxiliary high beams into their vehicle. One other important point to mention on this is uh, in terms of pedestrian protection, the important element for the pedestrian protection regulation is that lights and the brackets used to hold their lights are specifically excluded for any um, specific testing because they are a safety feature in their own right. But actually the nice thing about having the grill kits from a pedestrian protection point of view is that of course the lights are actually able to move in case of uh, an impact, they would move back with the grill. So it is a very safe way to mount extra lights compared with steel brackets coming from the radiator support. So that's it from me here at Laser HQ. In case of any more questions, uh, please do get in touch with us uh, and the local team here. Um, otherwise, please keep an eye on our social media feed and the newsletters for updates on grill kits. Thanks very much.